Welcome to Great Students. Today we are going to solve NDA 14th November Mathematics paper. So we already uh, uploaded one uh, video with this. 10 questions. First 10 questions we uploaded already. This is just part 2. In this also we are going to solve 10 more questions. So the year 11th to 20th question we are going to solve. So we will start doing that. First question we will start. That is 11th question. The 11th question it is given that a n equal to n into n factor, then what is a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus dot 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 up to a10? Simply they are asking, we have to find sum of the terms. But again, it factor it is there. If we are directly substituting, what will happen? a1 equal to 1 into 1 factorial, a2 equal to 2 into 2 factorial, 3 into 3 factorial, 4 into 4 factorial, like that it will be coming. So simplifying will be very tedious process. To avoid that, uh, we are going to manipulate the terms a n equal to n into n plus 1 in an easily simplified form. Look at this. Instead of n, I am going to write n plus 1 minus 1. So that plus 1 minus 1 cancel only n will be there. n into n factorial like that form. Now I am just uh, expanding this. n plus 1 into n factorial minus 1 into y, n factorial n factorial. Now I will get n plus 1 into n factorial. That is 5 into 4 factorial equal to what? 5 factorial. We know that. So based on that n plus 1 into n factorial will be n plus 1 factorial minus n factorial. Now I am going to find a1 to a10 sum. So when I put 1, it becomes 1 plus 1 to 2 factorial minus 1 factorial. When I put 2, it becomes 2 plus 1, 3 factorial minus 2 factorial. When I put 4, it becomes 5 factorial minus 4 factorial. When I put 3, I will get 4 factorial minus 3 factorial. Like that, the terms will be keep going. The last term will be what? When I, when I put n equal to 10, the last term I will get n equal to 10. So it is a10 is 11 factorial minus 10 factorial. Like that, it will be coming. Now look at this pattern of cancellation. It will be keep can cancelling. So like that, this will also could be cancelled with the previous term. So this term would be left. 11 factorial. Here 1 factorial left. So 11 factorial minus 1 factorial is answer. So 1 factorial 1. So option D is a, a right answer for this question. Now we will move on to the next question. The next question. P and Q are the non-zero roots of the equation. So they are telling it is a non-zero root each and every term no doubt this. So root should not be zero. No roots are zero, non-zero roots. P and Q are not equal to zero, that implies. Of this equation, then how many possible values of Q can Q have? What are the how, number of values that Q takes? That's all the question. So now we know that sum of the root is coefficient of minus of coefficient of x by coefficient of x square. Like that, P and Q are roots. So, sum of roots P plus Q equal to minus of coefficient of x is P. So, minus of P by coefficient of x square is 1, minus P by 1. So, when I put Q equal to P goes that side, it is minus P minus P is minus 2P. So, Q equal to minus 2P. We got one equation from this. Let it be the first equation. Next, the product of root is we know C by A. C is Q. So, Q by 1 we will get. So, PQ minus Q equal to 0 means when you take the Q common, you will get P minus 1 equal to 0. So, here I will get Q equal to 0 or P minus 1 equal to 0. So, that Q equal to 0 and P equal to 1, I get 2 value. But simply they are asking what is the value of Q and here they are saying non-zero roots. That means Q cannot be 0, right? Q cannot be, it's non-zero roots. So, this cannot be considered as the answer, record answer. Now, again I am substituting when I substitute P equal to 1 here, Q equal to minus 2 I will get. So, I went P equal to 1, Q equal to minus 2. I get only one answer, Q equal to minus 2 is a satisfying the, all the conditions. So, option B is the answer, right answer with 1. Answer is 1. So, that means only one Q we will get. Next. In the next question, we have, uh, before going moving on to the next question, please like and share our channel okay, with your friends and relatives. Then only YouTube will uh, suggest our channel for the many people. So please like and share with your friends and relatives this uh, videos and uh, subscribe this channel and if you are subscribed uh, we will be giving this uh, PDF of this uh, this material in the uh, description in that below the video so you can get download and uh, uh, use it repeatedly and uh, practice it again and again since competitive exam they are going to ask same question repeated pattern they will ask so repeatedly practice then only you can observe the pattern. Next, we move on to the next question. Next question, del is given like this. Then what is the value of this they are asking? 
Here look at this, here A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, the same terms are here also appearing. But uh, multiply with some constants, okay. If you are looking the first term everywhere, 3 multiplied, year first term, 4, year 6 like that. Then 5, 5, 7, 7. Whenever you are observing like that, that means we will get the proportionate value of the rows and columns. When uh, two rows or two columns are proportionate, that determined value is 0. We are going to use that property source to simplify this value. So I have just uh, rewritten the given this matrix determinant. Now I am going to uh, just rewriting row to column, column to row. Since it is given uh, in our uh, recorded del, every answer should be in terms of del. In the del GHI in the uh, third row, but it is in the third column. So I am just rewriting with the row, I am interchanging row to column and column to row. So when we transpose the determinant, that is uh, determinant of A equal to that is equal to determinant of A transpose. This is a property. So based on that property, I am just uh, transposing every element of the determinant. It will not alter the value of the determinant. So that I am rearranging that. This uh, column goes to the first row. You can observe. This second column goes to the second row. And the third column in the third row. Third column in the uh, yeah, third column in the third row. So second column in the second row, 4a plus 7g, 7, 4b plus 7h, 4c plus 7a. The first column in the first row, like that. I just transpose to the element so that the recorded del format, at least in the third row, I am getting. Next, what I will do, I, I know that I can split any, any matrices in any determinant to different. Like that, I am just splitting the first 5g and 5h. And 5a. I'm splitting this all splitting in the second determinant, and all other R2 and R3 I'm writing as it is in the both determinant. So this 3D, 3E, and 3F in the first determinant, I'm splitting it. This is the property of determinant I applied. Now look at this 5G 6G, 5H 6H, 5A 6A. If you take 5 from the first row, everything GHI. 6 from the second, third column, third row, if you are taking GHI. That means uh, the first and third rows are in proportion, so that based on the property, the determined value will be zero. So for this, I'm right, I have written zero. Again, I'm splitting this first determinant. Here, the two elements are there. So with the 4a, 4b, 4c, I have written this first determinant. 7g, 7h, 7i, I have written the second determinant. All other elements of R1 and R3, I have written as it is. Now again, you can look at observe the pattern. Here, uh, second row and third row are in the proportionate. Look at this. When you take 7, uh, you, from here, if you are taking 6, GHA will be same. So that it, it, its determined value will become 0. Again, this also 0. Only this determinant left. Now, from each row, I am taking the constant. From the first row, I have taken the 3 common out. The, from the second row, I have taken the 4 common out. Third row, I have taken 6 common out. So, remaining element is like this. 3 into 4, 12. 12 into 6, 72. All other elements are there. Now, uh, del is what? The third row is GHI, we know that. But in the del, the first row is ABC and second row is DGF. That means I have to interchange the R2 and R1. That's what I have written here. Interchange the R1 and R2. But when we interchange the rows, the determined value will be negative, opposite inside. So that I have added minus to balance that negative. Now, may it become plus 72 become minus 72 because of interchanging R1 and R2. This value is del actually. So this is equal to minus 72 del. That means this value is equal to what? It is actually 72 del. Minus 72 del. That is option D is the right answer for this question. Next we will move on to the uh, next question. 14th question. Uh, it is given that this given terms are in HP. Go down this. Which of the following is that correct? So given condition they are telling it's a HP. When we reciprocate HP we will get the AP terms. When you reciprocate to AP, we will get the HP terms. We know that. So from the HP, I have written this. I reciprocated this all three terms. I have written all three terms are in AP like that. Now what uh, we can do when these three, all the three terms are in AP, it means what is the property? It says the average of extremes gives a middle value. So B plus C plus A plus B by 2 equal to C plus A. Now when we do the cross multiplication, 2 into C plus A equal to what a plus 2b plus c. Now when 2 goes 2c plus 2a equal to a plus 2b plus c. Now what will happen when we subtract this? 
uh, 2a minus a is a by subtract this. When c goes this side, 2c minus c is c. So a plus c equal to 2b when 2 goes that a plus c by 2 equal to b. That implies a and c are extreme terms, b is a middle term. Then again average of extreme equal to middle term. From this we can say a, b, c are in a, b. Okay. So it's clear if these terms are in HP means a, b, c are in a, b. They have we got the result. So first one is true. When I come to the second part, we know that b plus c, c plus a, a plus b are in a, b. We know that already. But in the second statement, they are telling it is in GP. Let me take one example. 7, 11, 15 are in AP. We know that. 7 plus 4, 11. 11 plus 4, 15. That means with the common difference, 4 we have a AP terms. When I take the square like this, since when we take the square of this value, we are getting this. Okay. So similarly, I have taken the square of this. It becomes 49. It becomes uh, 121. This becomes 225. If uh, this should be in GP, if to be the second statement to be true, this should be in GP. This are uh, these three elements. So that for, to get the GP, the common ratio must be same. So 129 by 49 must be equal to 225 by 121. But it is not true. This must be more than 2. This is less than 2. We know that. So it is not equal. When it is not equal means common ratio is not equal. So it is not coming in a GP. That implies when the terms are in AP, or because of square, that will not form the uh, GP terms. So that second statement is wrong. From this only one st first statement is true. So option A is the right answer for right option for this question. We will move on to the next question. A next question also based from the uh, matrices they have asked. Very easy question. It's a repeated pattern. When A is given, they are asking A power 100 minus A power 50 minus 2, A power 25, they are asking. We have to observe the pattern, what pattern it follows. So I am just finding A square is A into A. I have substituted A, A. So we know that multiplication, first row and the first column. So 1 into 1 plus A into 0. So 1 into 1, 1 plus 0, 1. Again, first row into second column. 1 into A, A, A into 1, A. So A plus A to A. 0 into, so second row into first column. 0 into 1, 0, 1 into 0, 0. Then 0 into A, 0, 1 into 1. So we got A square. Then we will try a cube. a cube is a square into a. This is a square and a we know. I just substituted. Again, do the operation. We will get 1, 3, a, 0, 1 like this. What happened? When a square, it appears 2a. When a cube, it appears 3a. All other elements are similar to a. From this, we can general term we can write. When it is a power 100 means instead of only this, uh, in the a, instead of a, there we will get 100 a. When it is a power 50 means I will get 50a here. Other elements will be same. Whenever a 25, a power 25, I will get 25a here. That's it. I just substitute here. When 2 goes inside, every element inside is double with. Now we will do the minus uh, terms simplification. So 1 my, minus 1 minus 1 minus 2. Minus 50 minus 50 minus 100. So 0, 0. 1 minus 1. Here minus is common. So it's outside. So 1 plus 1 2 outside. Now we can do the subtraction. Okay. So we can do the subtraction. So one here 1 minus 2 is minus 1. 100 a minus 100 a is 0. 0 minus 0 1. 1 minus 2 minus 1. I can take the minus common out. So it becomes 1 0 0 1. It is actually unit matrix this. So minus i. So final answer is minus i. So the record values minus i. That is option b is the right answer for this question. We will move on to the next question. That is it is given uh, one determinant again. What is the value of k they are simply asking? So when we simplify this, we will get the value of k. And everything plus minus is just by observation. We can say that we can easily simplify that I can find the value of k. I just move k with the right side. It becomes positive. Now what I do the operation initially, I just rewritten this. Now a minus a becomes 0. b minus b becomes 0 when we add these two rows. So r1 plus r2 I am doing. So a minus a is 0, b minus b is 0. So a minus a cancel, plus b minus a cancel, plus b minus b cancel, minus a minus a 2c. Like that the first row I simplified. Then r2 tends to r2 plus r3. I am changing the r2 such that r2 plus r3. So minus a minus a minus 2a. b minus b becomes 0. When I add this to minus a minus a minus 2a, plus b minus b cancel, plus c minus c cancel. Now this is equal to kabc minus a minus b minus a minus b plus c. Now I can expand this with 2c minus 2c into 
What happened? Minus 2a into b is minus b is plus 2ab minus 0 into a z. This when from left hand side it becomes minus kabc. Now it is 4abc minus 4abc minus kabc. I just multiplied with minus so it becomes 4abc plus 4 plus kabc. I can take the k uh, just abc common so it becomes k plus 4. So a equal to b, b equal to c, c equal to 0 is a one of the possibility. But in the given sum itself, clearly they say they are all not equal. So when these are all not equal to 0 means that implies that k plus 4 must be equal to 0 to get the product to be 0. So from that I can say k plus 4 equal to 0 means k must be equal to minus 4. So the right option is option A. Minus 4 is a right answer. And the next question, we will do the next question. This is also a very simple question from the complex number they have asked. So I just expand that n equal to 1, 2, 8, 8 plus 7 means when I put n equal to 1, I will get i power 1. When I put i to n equal to 2, I will get i square. Summation, so I put plus sign in between. And n equal to 3, i 2. n equal to 4, i power 4. Up to what? Instead of n, 8, 10 plus 7. The sum we have to find. What is the value of this? To find the sum, what I do? Uh, before that, uh, this is actually in a GP, right? With the common ratio i. When I multiply every term with i, I will get the constituent terms. i power 1 into i, i square. i square into i, i cube. i cube into i, i power 4. So, common ratio r equal to i. You know. So, sum of n term is in uh, a gp is this is a formula. First term is a, r is a common ratio. So, a is i. r 1 minus r is i. So, i power. n is number of element is 1 to 8 and plus 7 means 8 and plus 7 terms are there. Number of terms. Divided by 1 minus r is i. That's it. Now, i power 8 and plus 7, we have to find out. For that, I am using here. i power 8 and plus 7 can be written as i power 8 and into i power 7. i power 8 and is what actually? i power 4n, the whole square we can write. i power 8 n. i power 4n is always 1. We know that. So, 1 square is 1. So, this becomes 1. i power 7 can be written as i power 4 into i cube. i power 4 is again 1. So, 1 into 1, 1. Only i cube left. i cube can be written as i square into i cube i square is minus 1, so answer is minus i. So, in this place, I can substitute minus i. So, 1 minus of minus i is plus i. So, 1 plus i by 1 minus i, I am getting. Now, uh, for simplification, I am just doing conjugates. Denominate 1 minus i means multiply and divide with 1 plus i. Now, a minus b plus a plus b is a square plus b square. a square minus b square. So, I will get 1 minus i square. i square is minus 1, so 1 plus 1, 2 will be the denominator. Here a plus b whole square, a square b square plus 2ab, i square is minus 1, so plus 1 minus 1 cancel. So 2i by 2 is i. So i here outside i is it. So i into i, i square, i square is minus 1. So the right answer is option A with the minus 1 as the answer. Next we will move on to the question number 18. Is that equal to x plus i by where i equal to root of minus 1? Then what does the equation? Z is at power plus modulus at power plus 4 into z plus at power. Just they are asking locus of this equation simply. Okay. So we know that the modulus z means absolute dis distance from the origin. This is a formula, hypotenuse formula. This will be coming like this. This is an absolute formula. This is a distance. X, Y means we will say hypotenuse root of x square plus y square. This is a modulus z distance. Now z is at power also we will get z is x plus i y means z power conjugate is x minus i y. So it becomes a square minus b square, i square become minus 1, so it becomes x square plus y square. Now, z plus z bar also occurs here. z x plus i y means z bar x minus i y. So, plus i y minus i y cancel, we will get 2x. Now, we will solve it. Instead of z, z bar, I can write modulus at whole square. And uh, this is modulus x square already there. z plus z bar is what? We know that it is 2x. So, 4 into 2x minus 48. Now, x plus x, 2x like that. It becomes 2 modulus at whole square plus 8x minus 48. I can divide with it. So 2. I will get modulus as a whole square plus 4x minus 24. Now modulus at whole square is what actually? Modulus is the x square plus y square. Will, when I find the square root, we will go. So I will get x square plus y square plus 4x minus 2. This is actually what? The equation of circle. x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is a standard uh, equation of circle. So, option C, circle is a right answer for this locus of this given uh, complex expression. Next question is, before moving on to the next question, please like and share our 
uh, videos with your friends and relatives and uh, subscribe our uh, channel and uh, uh, if you are subscribed uh, please um, bell button press the bell button so that once we upload a video you will get the notification immediately and the next sum it is a uh, 2a plus 2 root of a square plus b square like that uh, we have to find the square root of this whole value that also that we should not miss this square root of the term we have to observe this so that's the proof whenever they are asking square root means that implies something should be inside the square roots should be in the whole square form then only square root will be cancelled we will get the answer like this so that is the proof that's why they are writing in the uh, word form if you observe always whenever you are giving it it means like that means you have to make the terms inside should be in the whole square format that's all simply so we know that this is 2ab whenever the format like always it will be 2ab always so here a 2ab is there means uh, product of two, two terms is there always so a square root of a square plus b square that i just uh, visualize this a, a plus ib the a minus ib is going to give a square plus b square we know that when we add these two we will get 2a that also here so that we are going to rearrange the given terms like this instead of 2a i have written a plus ib plus a minus ib instead of root of a square plus b square i have written root of a plus ib into a minus ib 2 is outside as it is 2 is outside as it is here 2 is there outside it is outside now what happened here uh, a plus ib can be this root of a plus ib whole square root and square will be cancelled this also similar form i have written this 2ab form i have split them into two parts like this now it is clearly in the form of what a square plus b square plus 2ab so i can make it as a plus b whole square so this is uh, a plus b whole square form is it actually i have to find the square root of this given value so when i find the square root of this square and root cancel only i will get a plus ib plus a minus b ib as the answer so option a is the right answer so whenever plus is there always it is going to give the a plus ib form so from that itself we can write directly option a will be the answer through experience you can get the idea this is the right answer next we will move on to the next question consider digits 3 5 7 9 4 digits given what is the number of five digit numbers formed by these digits each of this four digit appear so we are going to form the five digit number but in every five digit number all the four digits should appear that is the condition they are telling so when i form for example three five seven nine if i am using means so four digit only i can form four digit but fifth digit if you are allowed if you want to form the five digit number means at uh, definitely one digit should be repeated we don't know which digit any digit it can be repeated so we can choose any one number out of this four as a fifth digit so that i have four choices out of four i can choose any one so that i have written four c one base i can choose any one out of this four now i have uh, out of four i have uh, one repeated x let me take it as x so now i get five digits with this digit i am going to form the five digit number so i can find numbers can be jumbled in five factorial ways but this x and one more value is always the same value two terms are repeated when repeated values that should be divided that's a form we know that number of terms factorial divided by the repeated number of terms should be divided with the factorial this is a format so 5 factorial by 2 factorial 5 factorial is given 2 factorial 2 4 c 1 is 4 we know that so when we cancel this multiply this 20 into 12 240 so we can form 240 uh, five digit numbers with five digit number all the not all the element district all the four digits occur only one um, digit repeats so that uh, two uh, same digits occur okay one digit occur two times any digit can be there okay for example three five seven double eight like that may be there or three five nine double seven like that one digit appear two times this way only we can form the five digit so option a is the right answer okay so today we finished our session so uh, we are uh, we have taken long time to solve it so that its presentation should be very neat and very clear so that uh, it takes long time anyway i'm going to solve all the questions all the 120 questions i'm going to upload 
so please follow our channel and subscribe our channel and share your, your, with your friends and relatives thank you for watching the video we will meet in the next